here at YouTube. We're back here at the house. We're going to install a Delta Foundations two-piece toilet. If you're anything like me, I really hope it has this powerful flush it claims. So I've got this guy at Home Depot. Delta Foundations two-piece toilet. Let's see how this guy goes. Comes with a slow, clo slow close seat. Stop your husband from slamming the lid. Okay, I just quick unboxed everything. It's a uh, tall elongated, so the front of the bowl is actually a little bit longer. I don't know, I feel like tenants have easier time making it in the bigger bowl, so that's what I go with. Usually, well, I don't know. This one's a power clean. You can see like the little jets in there. They kind of are on an angle pointing one way so they help clean it supposedly. It's nice and smooth in here. The porcelain's got a nice finish the whole way around. And one really cool thing I like is that this one, the tank top, comes with everything already pre-assembled in it. I've bought toilets before where you actually have to put all the guts in yourself. Um, I don't recall the last time, but this one goes good. I'll keep buying this particular toilet. So I'm gonna, I got it all apart out here. I'm gonna flip this guy over and uh, get the wax ring set on there. So I'm going to put the wax ring on now. The wax ring, this is the toilet upside down. The wax ring, this is where all the waste comes out of your toilet. So the, Waste comes in the bowl, goes through this little gooseneck back here, and works its way out. This wax ring has a plastic flange on it. It's not made to come out. You don't take that out of there. Some people might be wondering. And this literally just fits on here. And you want to get get this on there. It's, it needs to stay on there so when you tip it over, it stays on solid. I Sometimes this wax is really firm. Try to push it on and hope it sticks but sometimes it helps just to like pinch it a little and poke it to disrupt the seal that's on the wax and it'll help it stick so it doesn't fall off when you flip it over and end up in some weird area this is all gonna get smashed down pretty smooth when when you put the toilet over and tighten the bolts down Okay, we're here at the drain flange, and I got my level out, I got a tape measure. This is where all the waste goes into the floor, comes out of here. Some, some people try to put the wax ring on here, find almost all directions tell you to put it on the toilet. Uh, I don't know what this one says, but this flange, anyways, can't be higher than a half inch, otherwise you're going to have a problem. So the finished floor level, this can protrude just a little, not much, a half inch. Check your tape measure, you'll see. This particular toilet, there's some eyeball toilets out there. Uh, you may have one of them. But this is 12 inches on center. You'll see that on the toilet, 12 inches, about the center of the drain. So that's what we're going with. I think there's a 10 inch. Um, there might even be another variance in there, I'm not quite sure. But I always check this out before I buy, you know, almost everything's 12 inches. So we're gonna put these bolts on. You'll have to clean your old wax off. Get it pretty clean, you don't want nothing uh, crazy stuck in there like debris, like I did the floor. I don't want any of that stuck to it. I wanna get a good seal. It's just all gravity makes it go down. So the flange bolts here, Come with a little washer with a nut, but they come with a washer. And this basically, once you stick the flange bolt in the flange, I can wiggle this guy in there. You know, this this holds it up, stops it from falling over. I mean, it, back in the day. They never had these. You could ball a little wax around there and keep it steady and hope your toilet slides right onto there. But these things are great. Slide them on. 
push them down tight. I mean, that's it. If you want them a little tighter, you can thread them on a little. So I got that wax ring. I pushed it on in a few spots so it doesn't fall off when I flip it over. And I'm going to set it on there now. And then I got the level. We'll try to keep it a little level. Small level. The bigger level would be better. Uh, and if I have to, I'll put some shims under the toilet to stop it from rocking. But this floor should be pretty level. So we'll see where we're at once I get it on there. Keep it square to the wall and then you want to apply even pressure kind of directly over where the drain's at. Try to just basically get your wax to set in. And if your floor is thicker than the ring, they make extra thick wax rings. You don't want to leak under the toilet. hold the cap on before you put your nut on there. So this cap actually has a little sign on it that says this side up so you know which way it goes. And then there was always a worry about how tight this needs to be. Well it needs to be tight to hold it and hold it to the floor and this kind of slows you down from cracking it because if you over tighten them, you can crack it. But this particular toilet, they're just twist wing nuts. So we shouldn't have a problem with cracking it using our hands here. And usually after I put in a toilet, I like checking these maybe like a week later. Because you know, you sit on it, you use it. Things can get you know, a little auto adjustment. And we'll leave those caps off till I'm about done putting it in. Just so I get another chance to crank the nuts a couple more times if I if it you know squeezes the wax out while I'm working on it. So now I have this tank, I'm getting ready to put the tank on. It's got a big rubbery foam feeling gasket. You see, well, the lighting's not great, but you can see there's like a octagon cut in there, and that 
fits right on the bottom of the tank. So this has the same pattern on it. So you gotta line that up and get it put on there. Fits over there pretty nice. More wing nuts. It's kind of nice. Slow you down from breaking things. This is nice too. They came with the bolts installed. Last time you have to slide the bolts in. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three. Like I said, all the insides are in there. So it's really simple. You just literally line this up with those two holes on the back there. down and then we're going to tighten this up until this top tank hits all the contact points on here which this one has three so and then I like checking if these are level also you know a little bit of time on each side and this helps you get a better idea how good a job you did squaring up the toilet when you set it down Try to keep the tank level while I tighten it down. All right, that's hidden. Looks pretty good. It's pretty straight back there. The wall. A little bit more than a finger the whole way. We'll grab the supply line now. So these are the supply lines I tend to use. It's just a plastic tube. You cut it to length. This is a toilet one. They're different from the toilet to sink. And then on the bottom of this fill valve, this is a fill valve, there's a nut and a washer. And you're going to take this and just literally slip it through there. That's ready to go. So I'm going to get this tightened down to the toilet side. To make it look nice, the print on the pipe, I'm facing it towards the wall. Just a little tip for you if you use one of them. The flexible uh, stainless is a good bet. They make ones that if they break, they don't flood, anti-floods. So, you know, this stuff's easy enough to use. This particular pipe, I'm not going to cut it. I feel the shutoff is on the wrong side. But the, all that matters is the hose reaches, it's out of sight. I use quarter turn shutoffs, they're really nice. So at the other end of this pipe is a little uh, ring you gotta put on. This is called a ferrule. And this one's plastic, it goes on a plastic pipe. So you slide the nut from the compression fitting off the shutoff onto this pipe. Then you put the ferrule on, there's, it's a cone shape. So the cone shape goes in towards the shutoff. And then I'm gonna, for the most part, hand tighten this, all this stuff, because it's all plastic, it seals pretty good. Maybe a quarter turn, you know, when you're done.
keep the pipe tight in the shut off. for leaks as that's happening. Okay, I just flipped the water on in the basement. It wasn't on, so I'm going to turn this on. Pop and bang make all sorts of noise because there's a lot of air in these lines. Turn it on real low. So it's going to be a slow fill process for us. seat in place once you put them on. These kind of are built with a groove in it and you can twirl them to push the lid in and out to line it up like it's an eccentric ring for alignment purposes. I don't think the camera will do it justice but the holes in here are bigger. This fits in there and you see the bolts off to one side so when you spin this around it'll move the actual seat. I literally, since this doesn't have the sticky, this does not have the sticky tabs on the bottom here, sometimes your seat loosens up and wiggles around, I'm literally going to put one dot of a silicone, silicone type caulk, not much, just something that will give it a little more grab, let's say it might slip on that, but I believe that once it's dry, which takes a little bit, and nobody's going to be sitting on this toilet for at least a day, so it should work out just fine for me. These are kind of a pain in the butt usually, but you got to just grab the sides and wiggle a little. They flip over. Like I said, the hole in there is quite large. I could put literally my whole finger through it. So, line this up a little drop this through. It comes with a rubber a rubber washer, a plastic washer, and a nut. Just keep 
I'm fairly loose at first because we want this to be lined up good when we're done. If you need any adjustments, you can put your flathead screwdriver in there and turn it and you'll see the lid will move. For the most part, if you keep it lined up from the beginning, it'll stay lined up when you put it on. Give this thing one flush, get some water in the bowl. You can go fairly snug on these, you know, still let you move them around with the flat blade. I'm pretty happy with the way it's fitting, but I'm just going to turn one of these to show you what might happen. I don't know if you'll see the seat move. Yeah, it's going the wrong way when I go that way. try to spin when I tighten her down. And I like to make sure none of that silicone squeezed out. So you don't want to tighten this screw on top otherwise you'll lose your seat adjustment. I literally will do one of these. So it's just for holding. You push down on the screwdriver, it kind of flexes the bolt. You might be able to tighten it a little tighter. not a fan when my seat comes loose. And they seem to have the water adjusted perfect. I mean they should have it down to science. Delta's a nice brand. I really love their shower rough ends. Uh, they're kind of, I don't know, I like them. A little more expensive, but you're getting a way better product. I think plumbers would agree they would love to work on that type of valve, opposed to say like a um, maybe American Standard. A little harder to work on. Same thing with everything else, just gonna give this a little extra turn. Literally not much. There's not much room under there to give it that extra turn. So
I'm not going to put these caps on because I'm going to keep working here. But I'm going to check these. I'm going to set them on the side. I'm going to keep checking to make sure it's tight after it's been used for maybe a week or so. They tend to loosen up. Like I said, that wax ring settles in. So, I seem to like the word so. I'm going to show you inside the toilet. This says water fill or water line and that is literally the water like perfectly adjusted onto it from the factory. It's hard to see. This is your fill valve and if the water is not high enough, this float in there, excuse me, but the, the, the float is the black thing. And it can be adjusted up and down by this rod here. This rod has a Phillips screw on, head on the top. You may have luck putting a Phillips head screw on there. Most of them you could turn by hand. So you would actually turn this and this float will move up and down inside there. I'm gonna show you underneath the toilet. You know, we gotta check it for leaks, make sure there's no drips. A few spots to make sure you take a look at. Obviously, where the fill valve is at. And ours is dry. Like I said, plastic works great, it seals great, you know. And then you wanna look around this base where the tank meets the bowl. That's a plus. And then one other spot is at the actual fill valve. And my photo is not going to be good, of course. But our fill valve is dry. It's a quarter turn shut off. Love them. So there you have it. If you got any questions and I might be able to help you out, leave it in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. I can keep on adding them. Thanks again.